Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we will be talking about Serginho Dest and his arrival at FC Barcelona. Then we are going to be talking about Dembele and the rumor of him going to Manchester United. And then lastly, we are going to be talking about Barcelona and Manchester City and the swap deal that could be taking place between Eric Garcia and Rafinha. And so we are first going to start with Serginho Dest. So earlier today, it was announced that Serginho Dest was supposed to come to Barcelona and arrive at Barcelona at 10 p.m. And so he did. And when Serginho Dest did arrive at the airport, there was many journalists, many reporters waiting for Serginho Dest to arrive at that airport. And as soon as he was arriving and he was going to the van, there were so many journalists and reporters asking him, are you happy that you are in Barcelona? Are you going to be the next Dani Alves? Which was very weird, right? Because that is not what you want to ask a player like Serginho Dest and say, you're going to be the next Dani Alves or, or do you think you're going to be the next Dani Alves? But this is only telling me one thing right after seeing how the people did react in Spain when he did arrive and seeing how the media is reacting towards Serginho Dest coming to Barcelona I believe that the excitement of his transfer is extremely real and I think that one of the main reasons why so many people are excited with this signing is because this is actually the first signing Barcelona is going to be making when it comes to signing a young right back we haven't done that for a very very long time and I think that it is safe to say that the club and and the fans are very well aware on what Serginho Dest does want and Serginho Dest does want to play for FC Barcelona and so the relationship from the fans to Serginho Dest is absolutely perfect because we have to keep in mind about three weeks ago Serginho Dest was ready to go to Bayern Munich until Barcelona came in they sold Nelson Zemedo and they stated we want Serginho Dest and for us to be in this position in the first place like I explained in my previous videos for us to be in this position already tells us that Dest Dest really wanted FC Barcelona and was waiting for FC Barcelona to come calling. And we also have Miguel Rico who actually came out with a very interesting report and he said this. There are two reasons why Serginho Dest will play for Barcelona. One is because he wanted Barcelona over Bayern Munich. The second is because Ajax who allowed Barcelona to pay in installments about 5 million right now and the rest naturally with significant interest to be paid over the next five seasons Dest will sign for. And so you can see that Barcelona and Ajax do have that great relationship when it does come to transfers. Very similar to the De Jong transfer that did happen in the summer of 2019. Notice how smooth everything is going between Dest and Barcelona and how it went between De Jong and Barcelona. And now seeing that Dest has a perfect relationship with the fans and the fans love him back and seeing that Barcelona has a great relationship with Ajax, this is like completing the final piece of the puzzle. Everything is working out so perfectly. And so now that Serginho Dest is in Barcelona currently as we speak as you're watching this video it has been announced by cat radio and rack one that serginho dest medical will be taking place tomorrow which will be on wednesday and if you're watching this video about 12 hours from now usually when you do pass the medical test about 12 to 15 to 16 hours later barcelona do want to announce that player and say that that player is a new barcelona player but that would not be the case for the serginho dest transfer he will pass the medical test and then wait until friday to announce serginho dest as a brand new Barcelona player and the main reason why we are going to skip Thursday is because on Thursday Barcelona is going to be playing a match and like I stated before in my previous video Barcelona does not like to announce a transfer while Barcelona is playing a match because they believe that is a huge distraction for all parties and so I get why they don't want to include the desk transfer announcement at the same time while they're playing a game and so it only makes sense to just push the transfer announcement on Friday and so that is when Dest will become a Barcelona player officially and I will be talking about that here on Friday in this week and then later after the announcement I will be making other videos explaining how Sergino Dest can help Barcelona and improve Barcelona going forward but the one thing that I can tell you guys right now is this at the beginning of this season within these first two or three months I really do believe that we are going to see a duel take place I think that it is going to be between Sergi Roberto and Sergino Dest those two players will be battling it out when it comes to that right back position and Kuman is going to be assessing that situation he's going to ask okay is Serginho Dest only suited for certain games or is he a right back that can provide everything I need in every game that we will be going through and to be very honest I think that Serginho Dest in time in about two or three months he will be answering that question and I think that Serginho Dest will become and claim that right back position and will be a full-time Barcelona right back going forward but so maybe by the end of November the beginning of December we will see 
see Serginho Dest become a full-time Barcelona right back. But again, all of this is going to be explained in later videos throughout this week, most likely after the post-match review for the Barcelona game on Thursday. Moving on to the next topic of the day, and we are going to be talking about Dembele. And so I do want to talk about this topic here because I think that many people have been really questioning and asking, is Dembele really going to leave Barcelona within these next five to six days? Because earlier today, there was news that broke out that Dembele could be going to Manchester United. And I get why people would question, could Dembele leave in this transfer window? Because every time we do enter into a brand new season, we always have to ask, okay, what type of season is Dembele going to have? Is he going to be out for six months, nine months? Is he going to be injury free throughout this whole season? And so in these past three years of retaining Dembele, it has always been a big risk. And so here's the report that did come out earlier today. It says here, according to AS, Dembele is close to United and is the key for Depay. The Frenchman will go to Manchester United for a figure between 50 to 60 million euros so that the Dutchman from Lyon could arrive at the Camp Nou. With his move, the team's salary mass would drop significantly. So I do want to give my opinion first, right? Here's what I do have to say about this. I think that regardless of Dembele's injuries, I think that Dembele will stay in this upcoming season. Looking at the preseason and looking at the other matches, I believe that Dembele is looking much stronger, much more fitter, more determined, more than ever. I think that Kuman really does have Dembele in his hand and says, you're going to do this and you're going to do that. You can't be out of focus anymore. So that's my opinion, right? As for this report, I am going to completely write this report off. And I'm saying this because of multiple reasons, but I'm going to put it down to three points. One, about four weeks ago or five weeks ago, Ronald Koeman has stated to the media, to the public, to Barcelona, that he does have a list of players that he does not count on. Those players included Luis Suarez, Umtiti, Vidal, Rakitic, and many other players. But in that list, it did not include Dembele. And do you really think that Koeman is going to be going into his last six days in the transfer window with the club and say, Dembele, actually, we don't want you. I know that I said before that you're going to be in my plans, but I see that there's 50 to 60 million dollars that we can make from you. Do you really think that's going to be happening in Barcelona? The second point is this. The Dembele to Manchester United rumor has always been here. Hearing this rumor here is nothing new. We have been hearing this exact same report for the past six to seven weeks. And I believe that nothing is going to change. And my third point is going to be this, which is going to be the most obvious one. Fabrizio Romano has stated, Man U considered Dembele as an option, but the player has told United, as he said to Liverpool, that he wants to stay in Barcelona. He considers that he can have an important role in the new Barcelona. Then we have Jared Romero, who has stated, Barcelona denies any negotiations with United for Dembele. United is considering, but only if it is a loan. Dembele for now has no intentions of leaving either. There are six days left. Anything is possible. And so there you have it. I understand that Manchester United are thinking about bringing Dembele on a loan, but in the end, United is not going to insert any bid to Barcelona. And I believe that Barcelona do not want that, nor is in their best interest to loan out a player like Dembele. Dembele is a key player for Barcelona. There are many reasons why Dembele will stay at Barcelona then there are reasons why he should leave Barcelona. And most importantly, Dembele himself has stated like in these reports that he does want to stay in the club. Because to be very honest, Dembele is performing extremely well. I like the direction that he's going for. He does want to prove his worth at this club. And I think that the fans do want to see that. The club wants to see that. And most importantly, the player himself, Dembele, does want to see that. And so this rumor of Dembele going to Manchester United in this season is out the door. This rumor does not exist and it will not be happening anytime soon. Moving on to the next topic of the day and we are going to be talking about Eric Garcia. And so now that we do have the Serginho Dez to Barcelona transfer finalized, it is 100% complete. Now the main focus for the club is going to be Eric Garcia, the Manchester City center back. Now here's the thing, Eric Garcia to Barcelona has to be one of the most controversial transfers Barcelona is encountering in this summer. And the only reason why it's becoming one of the most controversial transfers in this summer is because it's going to affect one player and that is Todibo. And I completely understand 
understand why many are going to be upset that this transfer will affect Todibo because unfortunately Barcelona do see Todibo as a way to make a profit they don't see Todibo as a way to make Barcelona better which is really sad to see right but that is the reason why they're going to get Eric Garcia is to replace Todibo so I believe that it is almost inevitable for Barcelona to sell Todibo and bring in Eric Garcia and it says here according to Oriol Domenech he has stated Man City and Barcelona are in talks for Eric Garcia and including a player in the operation they have proposed Rafinha and City are thinking about it and this is a very interesting report right because the fact that we are hearing a player like Rafinha go to Manchester City and be included in this operation is something that we do have to discuss and we already know the answer when it comes to Rafinha and Barcelona Barcelona is a club where Rafinha is now wanted there and Barcelona have already put a price on Rafinha for 12 to 15 million euros but let's just put this at worst case scenario right let's just say that Rafinha is worth 12 million euros if Barcelona includes Rafinha in this operation it is estimated that Barcelona might only pay around 12 to 14 million euros and add in Rafinha in this operation and if we're talking about Rafinha going to Manchester City going to the EPL I believe that this player here is not a bad player and because of that I think that he will go into Man City and bring that competitiveness and only add on top of what Man City currently do have which is the creativity up front and so now knowing that the objective for Barcelona is to spend as low as possible and seeing that Barcelona do not have any plans for Rafinha I really do believe that this could be a deal that will work for both parties keep in mind City will be assessing this operation we have not heard any denial from City saying that we will not take Rafinha at all or include him in this operation and so if Rafinha were to be added in this operation I would really like to know your guys opinion on that do you believe that Rafinha can work well at Manchester City and do you think that if Barcelona only ends up paying 12 to 15 million euros for Eric Garcia do you believe that that will be worth it to bring a center back like him in so that'll be it for today's Barcelona daily news again we are in the last five days for the transfer window before it does close and so many things will be moving fast I will be reporting it here in this channel so if you guys are new here welcome to the channel please like subscribe comment I am happy that you guys are here and I will see you guys in the next video.